It's MBX Films. I'm going to open up one of these little 8-bit Mega Man figures from the 30th anniversary here. Uh, from Mega Man 1. Why did I bring the cartridge? I don't know what the point of that is. Anyway, uh, we'll open up this uh, green Bomb Man power-up one here. I have a couple already opened here we can take a look at. This is uh, Mega Man with the cut ability. And uh, they do have the weapon that kind of plugs in to the hand. The little pig there. They're double-sided like this. And they actually do uh, have articulation, just the arms will move. It's the kind of thing that I would have, like, went nuts for uh, as a kid to have, because marketing really took a while to uh, figure out that not only will kids get the video games, but they would play with the uh, toys of the video games also. Uh, here's the Iceman Ice Slasher uh, power-up. He's got kind of the Mega Buster arm, so the movement doesn't look quite as cool as the throwing weapons. And this ice thing does not stay in very well. I don't know, the peg just doesn't uh, doesn't go in very well and stay in there. But. So let's open up the uh, Bomb Man power up, the Hyper Bomb. The other one was the Rolling Cutter and the Ice Slasher, of course. There, you can see there was uh, some bosses made. You can see the Cut Man must have a thing on his head to put the scissor on the head and can hold it in the hand too. I guess Elect Man's power up was too big, so they just gave him this like psycho uh, knife looking thing. He looks like he's a uh, from a slasher film or something. He's just got an electric knife. Scary. Yeah, let's open up the old hyper bomb one here. Bomb! Wow, it's a lot thicker than the other weapons. Very thick. Um, a little difficult to discern the bomb. That plugs in there like he's tossing the bomb out. Some of the weapons were throw, you know, guts man, cut man, bomb man. Some of the others came out of the blaster, the mega buster. Now uh, they had all the mega man like power up ones for kind of marked down so when my friends found these got them but all the ones of just the standard mega man and the bosses were gone. I guess those are the ones people targeted for their collection but nobody went for the uh just the power-up ones, but these are probably the most versatile just because um, a lot of these color schemes they would use in the future games, like say uh, Mega Man 4, this would be Toad Man's power-up suit. You know, there's only so many color palettes you could give Mega Man's. So, uh, gray, uh, Mega Man 2, Bubbly, I'm sure there's other ones, Dust Man and Mega Man 4. Blue, definitely. Several other games like Mega Man 4, Head Dive Man missiles. Probably some other ones too, but anyway, just kind of cool little 8-bit looking ones and be nice to kind of Put around in the collection there of various Mega Man things. Why did I bring the cartridge? I don't know, but I did. I'm still in the process of hunting down uh, some Mega Man Spin Fighters. Kekobachi in Japan. If you want to see a video all about that merchandise and my quest to find it, you should watch it here. Because it's pretty awesome. I do like my Mega Man. But anyway, I'll see you later.